guys, how are you guys on YouTube? How are you guys today? Well, this is a update uh, vlog here. I'll put my haul drive back in my clean haul drive case. I also used this uh, dust uh, ill can stuff here, but this was empty. I had to finish it off with using my black and decorated ill pump. Uh, air compression, it was pretty loud. That's the reason why I, I didn't do it on camera because of the noise. I'm going to be going to put in all uh, the black screws back in the back and also so the silver screws back in the hull drive. Yes, I did turn around and took the hull drive out before I stopped cleaning it. And by the way, before you are going to be touching the hull drive or the hull drive case, I'd recommend uh, grinding yourself on any type of bill uh, metal, uh, like this screwdriver has uh, coated, uh, but it will actually protect yourself from shocking the hard drive from stair collection shock. Any type of metal will work. Uh, non non painted metal. Don't use a painted uh, metal surface. Like don't touch yourself to this. I mean you can, but it's uh, painted. I don't know what the paint will actually do. And do have yourself some rubberized uh, shoes to do that as well. And also have a ground strap as well. You guys can see I have no ground strap at, on me at all. I'm going to be constantly touching a screwdriver or any type of metal. That will be about it. But we cleaned the whole entire whole drive case. Uh, this whole drive case is a really beautiful uh, case. It's a 4 terabyte whole drive. You can put 2 terabyte whole drives in this whole drive case. If you want to put 8, that's totally fine. But the max output of this is uh, four terabytes. Uh, right now I only have one uh, two terabyte hard drive it is my Western or green drive right here. We're gonna be putting that back in the slot. But it's a nice little uh, aluminum housing everything here. Uh, I took this front plate off and by taking the front plate off I actually got more dust out of it because when the air flows right here, the air flows flows around these uh, fins, or well, these are uh, air intake holes, and it exits back uh, with the fan. But you guys can see, if you want to turn the fan off, you can just hit the off switch. The off switch will turn the fan completely off, and this turns that's the main power to power the whole hard drive. You got your USB and your 12 volt. Uh, uh, power source and you can uh, use a screwdriver to turn the fan on or to turn the fan completely off But today what I'm going to do is a kind of experiment We're going to leave the fan off if you don't want any dust inside your whole drive But I recommend leave the fan on because that's what my uh, books uh, recommend me to do now Before we put the whole drive in here uh, we're going to touch uh, metal uh, case metal, or screwdriver, or any type of metal. But let's go ahead and uh, put this in slot uh, two. Uh, this is a two bay system. We have slot one and a slot two for two hull drives. You can uh, put a lesser hull drive in it. You can put a low capacity hull drive like a, a fifth, 155 uh, onto a 70, uh, 55 out. Uh, a uh, hard drive, a gigabyte drive, whatever you want to put in there. It's gonna uh, put this little guy in here. We'll put it on uh, slot two, like I normally I uh, will put it. And if I had a second hard drive, I would put it in slot two. Now this is only USB 2.0, guys. This is not as USB 3. This is not as the fastest uh, case out there, but it's still a good case to uh, use. Now, when we're gonna put these screws in. We're going to put these screws in a very uh, crisscross. Uh, we're going to put them as loosely as possible. And sometimes if the screws don't want to crack right, sometimes you can pick up the screw uh, hold the enclosure and just shred the screws in like this. Uh, loosely, like by hand. 
and we'll go to the yarn side and we'll, you can put all four screws in or if you can uh, if you want you can put all two screws in but I'm going to go ahead and put all four of my uh, screws in and this is called crisscross pattern now this is not as a toolless design I would like to get one of those type of hull drives is actual a toolless design but eh, don't have the time for that in the little, little screw and sometimes the screw is going to be quite of a pain and you don't want to go in it. sometimes you have to really use your screwdriver to uh, put them in here now you can tighten these down uh, evenly I would recommend doing that try not to uh, shake up the whole drive way too much try not to damage the very expensive whole drive there's a hundred, like I said, I spent like a hundred bucks on this whole drive, uh, whole drive itself. And we're just going to slowly tighten these up. Now the reason why you put these in crisscrossed is for you can actually have the whole drive screwed very nicely in there. Now this is a really nice whole drive case for anybody who wants to do, uh, say, blogging or photography like taking uh, photographs and stills, uh, that's uh, good, and also music, and also, uh, you know, videos, movies, whatever you decide you want to use uh, in your media kind of format. <coughs> now, this is not the fastest uh, hull drive, but it's kind of the fastest hull drive, but I don't think she is, but... And yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice whole drive. I got this, uh, like, when it's dated, it's dated, uh, June 15th, 2013. That's when this whole drive was manufactured. But it's a pretty nice whole drive. You guys can see, there's the whole drive inside this little caddy. And, uh, do not use a wet towel, uh, to actually wipe any of the metal off. Use a dry towel if you can, like a... A maple fire cloth or a very light dish towel. A dry dish towel, by the way. Uh, make sure, again, it's stack free, but be very careful with that because you don't want to uh, work shocking the components like the hull drive or the circuit board, but be very careful. Okay. Now, if I had a second hull drive, I would be putting a second hull drive in here. But I just don't have the extra money to go buy a second hull drive. What I would like to do is buy two hull drives at the same time instead of one after the other. But let's go ahead and slide this uh, caddy back in. I would we'll gently slide this back in, uh, make sure you don't shake it too much. And it just slides right in. Okay. And we'll put. The four screws, the four black screws again, uh, diagonally uh, crisscrossed again. Uh, this uh, case is a uh, nice, nice design. I wish it was uh, a little bit easier to uh, take the hull drives in and out without uh, to using a screwdriver. If you want, you can leave the uh, screws out, but that's uh, not going to really work for you if you are going to be traveling or if you're going to be traveling in this hull drive case. The uh, case will apply uh, apply flop openly. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing all this uh, cleaning is I noticed seeing a lot of dust build up uh, inside the case, and that's not always a that's not always good for uh, the uh, hole drives themselves. Uh, definitely, a lot of the dust build up can uh, ruin the hole drives and also ruin some of the electronics uh, uh, system in it. Now this does have a way to turn the fan on and off if you want. That's your, that's your choice if you want to turn the fan off. That's totally fine. But in the, the manual of the book, uh, the book recommends you leave the fan on for better air cooling and better safety of the whole drive. Now we're just going to uh, put all these screws on. and. I'd recommend using like a magnetized screwdriver or the actual battle uh, for your uh, screws. But today, I'm just using a plain old screwdriver. It's the plain old Phillips screwdriver. 
And uh, got the hard drive back inside the uh, hard drive case. So a clean hard drive case. And yes, uh, the uh, hard drive fan uh, case fan. It's not a little noisy, but I'm going to see what I can do and see if I can leave the fan off for a little bit and try it without the fan uh, for a little bit. Now we have the hard drive. Uh, back to Gatto Hill. It's a very uh, nicely uh, hard drive case, like I said before. Uh, the coil goes through the hard drive and uh, through the hard drive case and goes through the whole entire case, cools the hard drives, and exits the back of the hard drive. Now, the main cause of dust is the fan. I'd recommend if you really want to uh, try if you have this type of case. Uh, put a little uh, filter on the outside of the case and see what that would actually do. We just have the main power, USB, uh, fan on and off, and a 12 volt DC power jack. And uh, so if you're going to be handling any type of electronics, or if you're going to be handling hard drives, or any type of uh, circuitries, make sure you all ground it. Make sure you have a ground strap, and make sure you touch any type of of non-painted material. A plastic, you cannot touch plastic because that's not a good ground. Like, you know, like a screwdriver, any type of screwdriver, any type of metal will do. Uh, anything uh, will uh, ground your thumb stack uh, shock on your devices. And also do have some type of rubber shoes. And also if you're going to be cleaning this once in a while, every single day, I would recommend stocking up on some canned ale, or also use a very noisy black and deck wood ale pump. But that's about it guys. I'm going to go hook this back up on my computer, and I'm going to see how it all runs, and see if it runs perfectly smooth. And that's about it. If you guys are going to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share, peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog.